Sorry, um, I've been babbling and no one has been hearing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Kuru. That's exactly what I said. No, I, I, what I said was um, I've been trying to find um, background music and I've been babbling about it and I've been talking to you all and I'm an idiot. Hey, good morning, Quentin, Eternal Lady, Bruno Romanos, Gearsart, thank you very much for the follow. Kuru, good morning. Oms, good morning. Uh, Izu Rocks, good morning. Nice to see a new face. Welcome. Um, yes, my mute is there, but good morning. Miller Finn, good morning. Bruno Romanos, I already said. Zealin, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Good morning <laughs> for the breakfast. Uh, Right, right. So it is uh, 33, I think. Yes, it is topic 33, which is a new character. Is it your birthday, Kuru? Oh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Kuru. You look like a monkey and smell like one too. So, Kuru, then you get the birthday boy wish. What should I draw? It's up to you today. You get the birthday boy pick of the day what's what should I draw character wise uh, I can make uh, something with cleavage sure or boob window all right but you know it's associated with you <clears throat> Kuru's choice to window. We're at that level, are we? All right. All right. All right. <laughs> elf priestess. Okay, let's go with elf priestess. And it's implied boob window. Hey, Chunky Gaming, how's it going, man? I saw you log on. All right, let me go. let's go, let's go. Let's start the timer. Uh, Elf Priestess line art. All right. What should uh, Elf Priestess... Okay, I'm kind of seeing um, someone standing um, like with a leg back and a leg forward and kind of... I'm just gonna sketch out the pose first, and because I'm, I'm having a little bit of a hard time. See, I want to capture the motion, kind of standing on a, at a uh, railing. All right. Now I have a clear picture in my head. I think um, I think I gotta put some uh, ambient music in the background for the next for next uh, next stream. It's, it helps with uh, with the focus. Hey, good morning, Mila. Nice creepy face. <laughs> All praise Queen Mila has arrived. <laughs> All right. So I'm kind of seeing her leaning back with one shoulder. And, you know, like uh, twisting the torso a bit. And uh, I'm, I'm seeing her like with um, 
very deep um, cut, almost like you know, like some sort of uh, what's it called? Gown. Let's give her smaller bursts. And uh, I'm also kind of in envisioning a uh, super clean uh, head, like just straight hair and the ears poking out. And I was thinking to, to make her feel like a priestess, right? We could, I was thinking I could um, put lots of jewelry um, like on her, um, on her hands, arms, lower arms. I want to have her face like very pointy as well. I don't want to like fiddle too much with it, but I'm hoping it'll it'll be good enough. Hey, Captain Jetlag, how's it going, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Priestess. She would be cool if she... Uh, I wanna... The pose obviously doesn't make sense anymore. But I wanna... I wanna stylize it somehow. I feel like I want to exaggerate. somehow make make an interesting point and not just not sure not sure yet but i'm, I'm guessing I'll, I'll get there elf the swooshy things on them she could what would uh, a little bit like a high end gypsy, <laughs> if that makes sense? Uh, Captain Jetlag, I posted it on Discord, Mr. Captain Jetlag, sir. Hey, Sim Sempi Bada, good morning. Welcome. Swoosh. Captain Bows. Captain Bows. So obviously only 30 minutes means I need to sacrifice quality for content, right? So quickly Kind of jot stuff down, and 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 I'll have to iterate that hand posture pose does not make a lot of sense. That kind of feels better, but still not good. Yeah, let's move on. I want to give her a swoosh dress. Swoosh, have one leg, kind of. Expose down, I need to flip it again. And I kind of have it, I kind of want to make it feel like a flower. And I want her, like, to, that hip to point out. Yeah, kind of. Captain Jetlag, yeah. <laughs> um, I did forget at the night. I went to bed, obviously. I, I just kind of crawled to bed, went to sleep. But um, who was it? Mm, I need to double check who it was. Who was so kind to do uh, Schmeiz. He, um, he made a um, iTunes. No. Spotify. He kind of translated uh, 
my music picks somehow, like imported it to Spotify or something. So bug him if you want the, the Spotify version of my YouTube playlist. And, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's shared. It's out in public now. But please join my stream for the music and don't just like screw Bjorn. I got this playlist. Very thank you very much, Senpi. But uh, I'm uh, I'm trying um, very a lot of different styles on my streams, and today it's I felt like line art. And uh, obviously, just jumping into line art from painting and, and so on is a little bit of an adjustment period. So hopefully it won't look too, too shit uh, when I'm done. I kind of want to give her some, some swoosh, swoosh on her face. Kind of make her feel a little bit more royal, I guess. Not really sure. Chances it will make her feel a bit tribal, so I, I need to make sure that the lines don't go to orc territory, you know. A swoosh in her face, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need background music for next stream. Just something. To, to occupy the the, the background. I, I was streaming last night, um, for, for those who, who missed it. Um, I'll show you what I, I, I drew. Um, I drew this one. I sat and listened to the music and painted. So that's available on, on Twitch in the video. Uh, if you click my, my video so you can watch it. Thank you, Captain Boss. Thank you all. All right, so let's give her some some kind of elf-like accessories. More, I just feel like it's this this line drawing is isn't at all what it should be. But I mean, I'm doing a warm up. And the whole the whole point is to to get your your um, your juices flowing, right? It's okay to make mistakes. I feel like I'm doing quite a lot of mistakes, but yeah, those those lines they became too too um, tribal. It removed her too much from like the cleanliness of an elf, like the, the super clean lines and no fuzz, fuss, not fuzz, but fuss, you know, like clean, easy, perfect solutions. I have to remove it.
Cheers. Cheers, peoples. I'm happy you like. You like? Do you like? Do you like? Do you like yes? Okay. Something like that. And you'll take it. Thanks, Kuru. Hey, Konma. Good morning. Welcome. Or it's good evening. Good night for you, I guess. Let's open up and you can see me in full HD, 1080p, <laughs> high resolution, face magic. Oh, look at that. Ooh. No one, no one of you has realized I am... Um, I cut off my beard. Oh, I mean, I trimmed it. It's short now, but I used to have like the, the thing. 1080p high resolution, dual screen, Bjorn edition, uh, amazing. Call your friends, tell your mom, amazing, amazing face, HD. <laughs> Guess a jet lag. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dear Bard, about what? What was the comments about? My face? Or or my beard? <laughs> I must have missed those comments about my beard then. Yeah, but it's so funny. I uh, I um, I cut it. <laughs> Captain Jet like it's like, hmm, he looks extra clean. He must have finally taken a shower. <laughs> uh, yeah, but what, what I was what I was saying, what I was uh, about to say was I, I when I cut my beard, uh, my son he kind of came and glanced in the um, the bathroom, and he was like, no, you don't, you're not my dad. You look too like hard. <laughs> It's like, put the beard back. <laughs> I was like, well, I can't. But he was like, no, you don't look like my dad anymore. <laughs> Funny. Hey, Jacob Mobley, how's it going, man? I, I messed up the pose. Legs are not correct. If her hip is there, then it needs to be more like that. And that leg go higher up. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, one of you, yeah. <laughs> uh, should I shave it completely? No, my wife would like it. She will say, like, no. She likes it when I have a beard. She doesn't want me to shave it completely. But I did, like, the pirate stuff. Like, I, I shaved this part first, so I had lots of beard on the side. My son came in, and he was like, Ugh. Oh, eternal lady. I know this. This. Is perfection. <laughs> Not really. Let's say that I didn't get uh, the most fantastic roll of the dice when it came to the face department, but you're born with what you got and you gotta use, use it or lose it, as they say. It's all good.
Swoosh. Um, Captain Jetlag, there hasn't been announced the next round's topic. Uh, it's coming um, Sunday. But five out of eight judges have already put down their votes. Um, so it's it's getting there. It's getting there. And uh, actually, to your um, probably to your um, makes you happy that almost all judges wrote so far. Um, I'd say half so far, more than half, as three out of five have written quite a lot. Um, so you guys are definitely going to get comments on uh, your entries. Um, Sempi Bada, yeah. My father as well. I wanted to, to show my son as well. No, I've come, Captain Jetlag, I've come to terms with my, my, my monkey suit a long time ago. It is what it is. I, I, I'm, I'm happy with what it is. You know, you can't really change it. Well, you can. But it's... I don't want to change anything about it. It is... It is my face. Uh, one Amir, yeah. On Sunday, the winners and losers will be announced. A new topic will be announced. And who goes to the loser bracket? Uh, versus wh whoever versus uh, is announced on Sunday stream at 8 p.m. Uh, GMT. Wow. Man, today my line art is not what it should be <laughs> talk about the 30 minute challenge here um no there's a lot actually constructive feedback um on a lot of entries like composition, um, grouping of information, and so on and so forth. Uh, I have the, um, I can see who, not who wrote what, but you're, you're getting um, uh, anonymous feedback from the judges. So you know at least this uh, from one of the judges, um, which is cool. Uh, they, uh, I'm not registering who wrote what, um, but Espen, Espen Lash, uh, Vuta, and uh, who was the third that has, there's five judges who already voted. Uh, I think Tour hasn't so far, uh, Cody Tilson and Thomas Scholz, I think, are the ones missing. I'll send out a reminder to everyone um, today, just to be that guy. Uh, one Amir, yes, 
I will be posting the comments um, match by match as well. There, Bart, yeah, I know. Lately, I've been reading the chat way more. Uh, if you could think about it in the before, I always used to uh, really just rant and not read. But whatever, I, I, I love having a conversation with you guys and see what you write. So I'm taking the penalty of not having the most amazing drawing, uh, you know, showboating on the internet versus just enjoying it and having a good warm up and having a, a nice chat with you guys. I'm beyond the whole, like, look what I can do at the moment. I'm enjoying enjoying this too much with just hanging out and talking for half an hour. There, bro. Yeah, a lot more chat has going on, but I think it's cool. I think it's great. I think it's a. Uh, Is the right thing to happen you know like obviously the more time we spend to together the more we we have something to talk about which is which is you know, fantastic something about the pose is off i need to flip her again and i she has also really kind of looked tall torso uh, I'm gonna leave it. I don't want to fiddle with it too much. She's gonna be pointing with her tippy toes. I must say, um, as a man, I have looked at a lot of women, <laughs> and uh, there's some who have this natural grace in in how they they put their hands and toes and feet like men usually don't have the grace it's like a pack of sausages just boy well while some women have like naturally like really beautiful um like lines and how they point and how how they, they, they have like grace in their motions i find that very um, attractive but not like in a in a sexual way but as like bliss for the eyes like oh look at those lines you know ladies yeah hellraiser definitely i mean it my wife is one of those who just have that that grace uh, naturally you know because she's not putting up a, you know, she's not posing. She just has it naturally. It's, it's beautiful to look at. And then some women, um, they force it and you can see it, that it's not natural. I mean, not, you can do the same with men that some men slouch some, some men stand straight and have that more correct pose and, you know they look more manly no I look at women with my wife and tell her like well she looks good <laughs> she knows I'm, I'm not that kind that goes and does something with another woman I am strong in my in my morals she has nothing zero to worry about hey max and welcome bruno yeah there's there's some women who have like grace in their hands as well which is you know it's it's just something that they have i don't understand I guess because to some degree men 
just are more like monkeys and, and use their hands for the function rather than not for the function. You know, in general, like men pick shit up, and bang stuff and, and climb. I mean, girls do that too, of course, they should. Um, but there's a physicality difference. Like men are stronger, uh, more dense skeleton, more more gorilla, <laughs> you know, and, and because of that, they hold the limbs differently and the fingers differently. That's what I think, at least. Not talking about ability. Girls, uh, women can definitely do the same as what a man can, but men just have naturally more power, power in their, in their body. Hey, Mozart, how's it going, man? Good morning. Captain Jetlag, yeah, definitely there's learned behavior. I'm not negating any of that. So, I mean, social, social impact uh, or social influences is definitely, um, I think, for sure. But there's, you can't deny that there is an actual uh, physical difference. I mean, mus uh, bone density, uh, muscle density is different from man and woman, for sure. But that doesn't mean a woman can't be strong or a man can be weak. You know. Oh yeah, what well, I mean, we're definitely way more primitive than women. We have way more like Uh, stupid, stupid gorilla like tendencies as a man, for sure. It's what it is who we are as men. We got the testosterone and hog smash mentality. As a as a father of two, one f boy and one daughter that in this in my instance have definitely shown that there is a natural difference in how they are. And I've deliberately tried not to uh, treat them differently, you know, in what they can do and how they act. But my boy is like upside down in the sofa, jumping between sofas. My daughter is like sitting in the sofa and, and, and holding her cuddly toy. It's like <laughs> classic. Kuro, yeah. 22 year old gorilla. That's good stuff, man. Well, again, happy birthday, Kuro. You're one year closer to your final days. <laughs> you got a. Uh, uh, and a poor attempt at line art. Uh, it's not a lot of things finished. I was babbling way too much. Um, but you did get a elf priestess of sorts. Um, maybe I'll cheat a little bit because I started slightly earlier and I'll just block lock it in a little bit just so there's a separation probably not a darker hue though or a darker value tomorrow I'll try uh, I'll try to find some sort of um, just background ambient noise uh, for the sake of, of immersion. Um, so it's not a lot of dead uh, silence. I think it'll be a little bit easier um, to let there be calm moments in the stream, you know, where you can just pause for a second and, and, and 
then it won't just be dead silence. I think that that in general, I think having some background stuff happening is a good good choice, right? You can we can do a quick little vote now. What do you think? Subtle background music? Yes or no? Captain Boss, you, you, yeah. Thank you, Sam Pipada. Mozart, yeah, definitely. Skinny dudes have way more uh, that grace because they're not that dense and, and they're not, they don't have that kind of orc hunch. You know, because their muscles are thinner, because they're less uh, pumped, you know. So the, the bigger and denser you are in muscle tone, the more you'll be like hunched over and be more of an ogre. I think that's why also women, a lot of women, I mean, not all, but a lot of women tend not to be that, that you know, dense in, in their physique. Uh, Hence, they have more uh, grace. But then there is, I don't know what it is, but yeah. Definitely biological difference, social difference, that all indicate on how they move, but I don't mind. I do like the ladies. One last little change, and then I've done. I'm done cheating. I'm gonna raise, right, raise, raise, rise, raise up here a little bit. I'm not too keen on how that. I need longer legs, and that bend is a bit weird. Uh. A little bit better. All right, done cheating. One Amir, Amir, just let me know when you have a birthday. Yeah, I'm gonna have something in the background, I think. Yeah, I won't have copyrighted music. I'm gonna try to find royalty free, uh, just something, something in the background. It could be just like organ. Whatever. <laughs> uh, Gila, I like 100% um, pressure, so I can go full or less, and I, I ju adjust the pressure with my hand, and size and, 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 and opacity change depending on you know, like what I like. Uh, all right. Happy birthday, Kuru. Thanks you, everyone, for joining in and having some... Um, being a bit silly with me. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Mongolian throat singing. Yeah, why not? As long as it's royalty free. Um, all right, that's it. See you guys tomorrow morning. Happy birthday. Bye, everyone. And thanks, everyone, for the follows and, and the clicks and the conversation. And, 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 and yeah, goodbye. <laughs>